Hey guys, Casmo here, and today we're going to do something a little bit different than normal. I'm going to walk you through some crafting that I did recently. Um, I'm pretty proud of it because it came out really well, and I want to share it with you because I am not a hardware uh, wizard. I, I, I don't. I can wire some things together, but don't ask me about electricity and, and how it works and switches and Arduinos, even though I'm learning a little bit about that. but. Um, I've been seeing over the years, you know, guys had these uh, stick extensions, and I just, I'm, I'm a sheet bastard, and I can't afford to uh, to put my money into that, so I, I've always wanted to, to give it a shot and see if I can't just put something together. So, uh, big thanks to the guys on my Discord channel, Low Level Hell, uh, who gave me a hand on, on some of these things, gave me some ideas, and to, uh, particularly to Army Freak, who uh, graciously donated a spare Thrustmaster that he had, and... Uh, just kind of let me cut up on it and uh, I think the results are pretty amazing so anyway we'll kind of go through it here and uh, hopefully it'll give you some ideas of what you can get away with is, uh, get on the internet and search Thrustmaster T16 million M whatever this thing is uh, extension to see what I could find and uh, it wasn't a whole lot that I could come across I came across this uh, sort of Frankenstein monster uh, and then I found this thing here, this extension uh, file, uh, 3D files from uh, a guy, I, th I think it's French, I, uh, forgive me if I'm screwing up whatever language it is, but had a hard time understanding exactly uh, what the dimensions were, um, but it looked like it made sense to me. And, and luckily I have a 3D printer, so I was able to print out these uh, components, and it kind of gave me a better idea what was going on. So there was these uh, basically really thick clamps that that would grab onto the base of the stick once you took out the uh, turning mechanism and it would clamp onto that and then it would allow you to slide a aluminum pole a rod into that uh, and then you had a smaller piece that would attach to the inside of the joystick and the rod of course would would link up between these two things so naturally this is where the trouble started because finding a rod the right size was uh, nearly impossible. I don't know if it was something uh, because it was metric or you know this was a standard uh, tubing that you could find in Europe but not in the States. But I, I could not find anything uh, commensurate with that. And even a buddy of mine who is a welder and works in a shop uh, was unable to find something for me. So at this point though I, I really wanted to push ahead and I had this... Uh, PVC pipe it's left over some other project around the house and it was a one inch pipe and I just tried to stick it on and it stuck directly onto the joystick like it was made to go on there there's like a little plastic ring uh, that the bottom of the grip of the joystick holds onto and that pipe slid right into place it was very sturdy so at that point I kind of committed to finding a way to make PVC work so at this point I got onto uh, Tinkercad, which is a free software, uh, if you're not familiar with it, and it lets you do some basic uh, 3D uh, model building, and I'm not a, I've never really used it other than to just kind of goof around and, and make little stupid things, but uh, so I got the right measurements, went on there and made a small adapter, which then slid onto the base of that joystick and just gave more bite for the, uh, the tube to grab onto. He's taking a look at the joystick itself and just sorting out all the wires. There's quite a bit of wire that's in the base, but you're going to need more to do a long extension. And of course, you got to cut the circuit board off of the joystick itself. So keeping track of all the colored wires with some tape and uh, then trying to figure out how to attach the tube to the base. So I won't bore you with the details, but it took uh, quite a while actually to find the right way to attach you know, a one inch diameter tube to that really fat uh, a 3D printed adapter piece that I really wanted to keep because one it was a lot of resin but two it really clamped on tight and was going to be a solid fit so I did find an adapter uh, that was about a two inch and it was still too big and so I, I could never find the right piece so I went back to Tinkercad and created something new basically it was just a sleeve that would fit over the 3D printed part that I already had and then would fit snugly inside of this adapter the adapter would then uh, connect to the one inch pipe which would then of course run up to the joystick fit into the other adapter I'd created so it was this huge uh, contraption but it actually looked pretty clean once once it was all said and done so at this point I it was complete I mean I had it done um, I would periodically plug it in um, and test the buttons and make sure they you know that all my uh, connections had, had held on and all the solders had held on to the circuit board 
and everything was looking good. So I just put it all together to see what it looked like, and this is what we had. So I thought this was a pretty good look. Uh, it's pretty clean. Um, just two problems I had with it. One, it was just too tall. Um, I sat down in my chair, kind of wiggled around, and I wanted to be able to hold my, uh, you know, my arm on my thigh. Uh, and just kind of rest it there and, and hold the joystick, which is kind of how it feels, at least in aircraft that I've flown. And it was just a little too high for that. But the other part is, you know, at the base of those joysticks, they've got a lot of buttons. Uh, I think this one's got like 12. And I was losing all that functionality, which I was okay with. I knew that going into it, and that kind of leads to my next project, which I'll share with you in the future. But uh, I wanted to see if there's a way I could salvage some of that. And I've always found the little pinky switches interesting. So I went in. And I found the circuit board that had uh, easy to identify wires, clipped them, uh, spliced them together, ran them back up through that tube, and then I had to go back to Tinkercad and come up with something new to figure out how to make this pinky switch. So I actually learned some stuff while I was taking a thing apart and see how things were built. And I actually had a bunch of these little micro switches that I'd gotten in a kit or something. So that kind of gave me the idea of, of how I should build this switch. So. Uh, I just wired it into this tiny micro switch and then I figured out, uh, you know, I would just cut a hole in the tube and I had to build something in Tinkercad uh, that would allow me to push, you know, something against that switch. So uh, it's just really a game of making the right measurements, um, printing it out, finding out that it was way too small, like it was a, a, a pinky switch for ants, and just had to expand it out and it fit like a glove and so basically I just cut a hole kind of on the side there in the tube attach this and we were good to go so at this point I was putting it back together do one more round of testing of the buttons check the height as you can see I cut off about six or seven inches I think uh, and and it was a great height um, and so at that point it was just spray painted up and get it ready for playing so here's the finished product. Uh, as you can see from a previous photo, I left the spring in there. There's just enough tension to keep the stick centered, uh, but there's barely any force needed to push it any direction. It'll it'll stay on the side if you push it all the way over, but uh, generally if you, you keep it kind of within limits, it, it's going to come right back to center. Um, it's a very good feeling for uh, Flying Circus IL-2. Uh, feels good in the Huey, the Gaz. I don't like it so much for the K-50. I'm probably not going to like it for jets just because of the, the nature of, of how those aircraft fly. Uh, but for those other planes, it is a great extension. It feels great. A pinky switch works phenomenal. Thanks to those people in the community that helped me out and uh, uh, coached me along in certain areas. But hopefully this gives you some ideas of things you can do uh, if you're looking to do something like this. I mean, you know, total cost for the parts was you know probably around fifteen dollars it, it wasn't much um, of course having a 3d printer helps uh, so if you have access to one of those it's going to make your life a lot easier but anyway i hope this was enjoyable and you learned something and don't be afraid to try things out i guess so we'll talk to you later thanks for stopping by